Are you a streamer looking to take your stream to the next level? Look no further than Stream Elements. In this video, we'll show you how to quickly and easily set up Stream Elements chatbot, tipping page, and overlays so you can start engaging with your viewers and creating amazing experiences for them. We'll walk you through the process step by step, so join us now and get ready to unlock the power of Stream Elements. Hello, and welcome to me, Goblin Malicious. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go to StreamElements.com, link in the description. Once you're there, either click Login or Sign Up. We're going to choose Sign Up so we can see how easy it is to get started. Stream Elements currently works with Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Trovo, so connect with the service you're planning to stream on. In our case, that's Twitch, so we'll tap on Twitch. If you haven't already, you'll need to authorize with the service of your choosing. Now that we're in, we should see a screen like this. If you closed it previously, you can open it again by going to your dashboard under Data and Reports and tapping on the Continue button. I'll also show you where to find each aspect we cover just in case the Continue button isn't there or if you just want to make further changes once you're set up. Our first step is to enable the chatbot. There are a lot of really cool things we can do with the chatbot that I'll cover in another video, but first, we need the bot to be in our channel. So just tap the Activate button here. If the Quick Start window was closed, you can just go to your dashboard under Data and Reports at the top left and tap the Join Channel button on the right in the Bot Settings section. If you use the second method, and this is your first time adding the bot, Stream Elements will also display a message telling you how to give the bot moderator status, or you can just tap on the wrench icon to have them do it for you. Stream Elements should automatically make the bot a moderator in your channel, which you'll need for some of the advanced features. But if it ever loses its moderator status for any reason, just go to your Twitch chat and type slash mod stream elements. This command will also be in the description, so you can just copy and paste it if needed. The next step is to activate tipping, so tap on Tipping Activation if it's not already selected. To be able to receive tips, you'll need to have an active PayPal account. All we need to do here is enter the email address for our PayPal account and tap the Connect button. If you don't have access to the Quick Start, you can set up tipping by going to Tipping Settings under the Revenue header on the left menu. Enter your PayPal email and tap the Connect button. Now that we have our PayPal account connected to Stream Elements, there's at least one more important step to take to make sure people know where to go to tip you. Tap on Tipping Panel Settings if it's not already active. If you don't already have a tipping panel image, Stream Elements provides a few options for you here. So you can just tap on one of these images and press the download icon. Once you've selected a panel image, or if you already have one, just tap the copy button next to your tipping page link. Before we move on to actually adding the panel, if you can't access the quick start, you can set up your tipping panel by going to tipping settings under the revenue header on the left menu. There are also more tipping panel images available here. To copy your tipping page link from here, just tap on the tipping page link itself, and you should see a flash screen and see a copy to clipboard message in the top right. Next, we'll go to our Twitch About page. You can access this by tapping your profile icon at the top right of Twitch, selecting Channel, and then tapping the About link under the video player area. Once you're there, scroll down below your bio until you see Edit Panels. Toggle this to the on position and it should look something like this. If you already have some panels added, scroll down until you see this empty panel with a plus sign on it and tap on that. Then select Add a Text or Image Panel. If you want to add a panel title for accessibility, you can do it in the Panel Title field. Tap the Add Image button and either click the pop-up to browse for your tipping panel image or just drag and drop the tipping panel image onto the pop-up. If you need to adjust what's included on the image, you can drag the corners of the selection to adjust it, 
then tap the Done button. In the Image Links To field, paste your tipping page URL. If you want to add a description, do so in the Description text area. While not absolutely necessary, this would be the best place to add a disclaimer about tips being voluntary and non-refundable, and letting people know if they will or will not be getting anything special in return for their tip. Once you've done all this, tap the Submit button to make sure it saves the panel. Then, go up and toggle Edit Panels to the Off position to see how your panel looks. Tap the Tipping Panel image to make sure that it opens your tipping page properly. If you already set up the Stream Elements chatbot earlier, you can also type exclamation point tip in your chat, and you should see it respond with a message containing your tipping page link, all with no extra steps. Once you're all done, go back to Stream Elements and tap the Continue button on the tipping panel settings. The next step would be to set up your overlays, but we're going to skip ahead one step since we'll need this for the overlays. We'll cover the overlay step in the next section. For this step, we'll need to download and install the SE.Live plugin. Tap on SE.Live in the Quick Start and tap the Download button. If you don't have access to the Quick Start, you can tap on your profile image in the top right and select Download SE.Live, or go to StreamElements.com slash SELive, link in the description, and tap the Download SE.Live button. SE.Live is a plugin for OBS Studio, which means that it just installs on top of a regular OBS Studio client. If you already have OBS Studio installed, you just need to run the SE.Live plugin installation as is. But if you don't have OBS Studio installed, just select the checkbox next to OBS Studio on the Choose Component step of the installation process. After the plugin installation completes, open OBS Studio. You should see a screen that looks similar to this, although yours may be slightly different. The important thing we need to do here is connect with the service of your choosing, much like we did with the login slash sign up process. Once again, in our case, we're using Twitch. So we'll tap the Twitch button, log into Twitch, and tap the Authorize button, much like we did earlier. Now that you're logged in, your OBS should look similar to this, with your Stream Elements activity feed on the left and your chat on the right. You can move or pop out these docs as you wish. But if you accidentally close them, you can get them back by going to the Stream Elements menu, then the SE.Live Docs submenu, and selecting the aspects you want back. This menu is also where you would start the import process that we'll be referencing in the next section. Once you're all done setting up SE.Live, keep OBS open, but go back to Stream Elements and tap on the Overlays step in the Quick Start window. Here, you can select Create Your Own Overlay, Pick an Awesome Theme, or Import Existing Overlays. If you don't have access to the Quick Start, you can go to Overlays or Overlays Gallery under the Streaming Tools section of the left menu, or tap the Import link at the top right of the screen if you want to import existing overlays. If you're importing overlays from another service, it will require the SE.Live OBS plugin, which we covered previously. But once you have it installed, just follow the instructions on the import page. All of the options are fairly straightforward, and the first two can be handled right here on the site. Since we're trying to get started as quickly as possible, let's select Pick an Awesome Theme and tap the Continue button. This will take us to the Overlays Gallery, which, as previously mentioned, you can find under the Streaming Tools section of the left menu. There are tons of free premium themes available here. For now, we're going to keep things simple, so just browse until you find a theme you like. You can preview them by tapping on the image, then go through the provided scene examples. Once you find a theme you like, tap the Create My Overlay button. 
This will bring up a window with scene links for each scene. Now it's time to actually get your theme into OBS so it shows up when you're streaming. Go ahead and switch back to OBS. Since our theme comes with multiple scene options, we'll first create a scene for each piece of our theme. You may need to create more scenes, or fewer, based on the theme you picked, so just create the ones you need. In our case, we're going to set up scenes for gaming, chatting, starting, BRB, and ending. At the bottom of the Scenes box, tap the plus icon, name your scene, and hit the Enter key or tap the OK button. Then repeat the process for each scene you need to create. I'm going to start with what I call my Utility Scenes, starting, BRB, and ending, and then chatting, and finally gaming. Now that we have our scenes created, it's time to add our overlays. Before we dive in, just in case you accidentally closed the window with the scene links from earlier, you can get back to them by going to Overlays under the Streaming Tools section of the left menu, then tap the three dots at the bottom left of the appropriate overlay card, and select Copy URL. If you still have the window with the scene links up, just tap the link icon to the right of the URL, and it should copy it for you. We'll go in the same order we set our scenes up in, so we'll copy the Start Scene first. Next, go back to OBS and go to the scene relating to the URL you just copied. In our case, that's the starting scene. Once you have the scene selected, go to the bottom of the Sources box, tap the plus icon, and select Browser. Give the source a name so you'll be able to easily identify it later. I'm just going to call mine Starting Overlay, and tap OK. Now, paste the URL you copied earlier into the URL field of the Browser Source Properties. Next, change the width and height to match the resolution of your overlay. In most cases, this should be 1080p. So we'll set a width of 1920 and a height of 1080 and tap OK. Next, repeat the steps for each scene in your theme. So we'll go ahead and quickly set up our BRB, ending, chatting, and gaming scenes now. There is so, so much more that you can do with stream elements, but I'll be covering that in other videos. I stream on Twitch as well, so feel free to come join me there. Link and schedule in the description. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and if it was, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I would also really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and enable notifications so you won't miss any new videos. If you know someone who you think could benefit from this video, please share it with them. If you'd like to support my work, you can do so by becoming a patron on Patreon, link in the description. Thank you for your support and for watching this video. Stay awesome until you see me again. Okay, bye!